Hey everybody, welcome back to Bob Key TV. Time now for a preview of Perry Nice. Week-long stage race starts on Sunday, uh, March 4th, finishes on the 11th. Uh, starts in Paris, obviously, and goes down straight south in a general southerly direction to Nice for the finish. Uh, it's always a brilliant stage race. Biggest stage race of the early season, at least the first big one uh, of the year. Uh, there's been plenty of racing, uh, some of that covered on Bob Key TV, and more of that in the future. <laughs> a little bit remiss recently, so please forgive me and thank you for your patience. Uh, but Perry Nice, one of my favorite races of the year. I'll be calling it with Paul Sherwin for NBC Sports Network. So if you feel like it, please tune in to see all the coverage uh, on NBC. Uh, and Perry Nice, I did it a number of times in my career. I always loved it. I always found it to be better weather, ironically, than Tirreno Adriatico, which is further south um, in Italy and presumably would have better weather. Uh, but that was not always the case uh, during my career. And so I loved racing Perry Nice. Tough stages. My career coincided with Sean Kelly, who annihilated the field many times in Perry Nice. I think he won it seven times. Woo! I think he won it every time I did it. <laughs> um, but it's a great race. Very tough. Uh, it's often plagued by bad weather also and some canceled stages. Let's hope that does not happen. But it's been a pretty grim spring in Northern Europe so far this year, so watch for some gnarly weather. Could be some wind battles. Often the wind has a big say in Paris Nice in the past. Um, could be some rain and snow. Uh, lots of hilly stages. Uh, time trial, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, great stage race, absolutely love it. So let's go over the key stages. Stage number four, for the GC anyways, is an almost 20 kilometer time trial. So that's gonna get, make a big difference. In the GC, that's probably the most critical stage if you want to win Perry Nice. Uh, we'll get to who amongst the GC favorites that favors in a moment. Also, three for sure stages for the sprinters, maybe four. One and two and six for the sprinters, and a great field of sprinters, and maybe stage three also. Um, let's start with the sprinters, who's going to be there. That's the race course. And I should mention a uh, new mountaintop finish on stage number seven. It's going to be an incredibly tough stage, probably the hardest stage, and along with the time trial, the most critical for the GC. Uh, La Calmaine is the top of that climb. It's 175 Ks all climbing or descending that stage, so uh, absolutely brutal stage number seven. Uh, and number four, almost 20 kilometers flat, very flat time trial course into Saint Etienne. Uh, and also, uh, stage let me back up real quick. Stage five into Cisterone for the sprinters. Six, seven, and eight, mostly in the mountains <laughs> for the GC. Um, and let's talk about the sprinters then. Stage one and two for the sprinters. Stage three, mixed. Some climbs at the end could disrupt the field. Um, but great field of sprinters in this year's Pyrenees. One of the best we've seen. Uh, in a number of years. Oftentimes, Pyrenees so hard that the sprinters don't even show up. Um, and it's been easy pickings for some of the second-tier sprinters, uh, which is not to disparage their talents in any way, shape, or form. Um, but it's been tough in recent years to attract the biggest sprint names, like Mark Cavendish, who's not there, by the way, um, uh, this year also. But the month, let me start with who hasn't won a race yet and who might have a little bit of extra pressure to win a stage in Perry Nice. Uh, Nasser Buhani, no stage wins, no wins this year, has had three, sta three stage wins in his career in Perry Nice in the past. And Arnaud Demar, no, no wins. Going to be a lot of pressure on those guys to produce. Um, Alexander Kristoff, he's also in the field. Andre Greipel. So you have some of the biggest names. And Two of the hottest sprinters currently also. Elia Viviani, who will be the sprinter rather than Marcel Kittel from the Quick Step squad. And the maybe the biggest difference is the lead out between the Katusha and the Quick Step teams. Fabio Sabatini. And watch for him to be leading out Viviani in the sprint stages of Perinese. Sabatini might be the best lead out man in professional cycling today. 
Maybe the hottest sprinter, though, in all of professional cycling this year so far is Dylan Gronewegen from Lotto Yumbo. The young Dutchman um, has a ton of wins already this year. He's got two stage wins in Algarve, a stage, big stage win in the Dubai Tour, and just won Kern, Brussels Kern last Sunday. Gronewegen is on fire. I bet he gets two stages in Pyrenees. And Christoph, the hilly stage number three, that's got his name written all over it. If he's riding well, and he has got a win in uh, the Tour of Oman and the Abu Dhabi uh, Tour. So Christoph is going good. It's a tremendous field of sprinters, and I can't wait to call the action uh, from the sprint stages at Perry Nice. Um, GC, Perry Nice, a little bit notable for some of the absentees. No Chris Froome, no Romain Bardet, no Nairo Quintana, Thibaut Pino, Richie Porte, Vincenzo Nibali, Fabio Aru, all choosing to do other stage races. Um, Port and Froome, both winners of Perry Nice in the past, um, but will not be back in 2018. And Perry Nice is sometimes, like I said, got the bad weather and is very hard, so a lot of GC guys prefer the Tirreno, uh, and that's just a... Uh, a part or a tour of Catalonia, and that's just how professional cycling goes. But there is a great field, and it's remarkable how many strong GC contenders there are in professional cycling. And Perry Nice, chock full of uh, great bike racers who will be contending for the overall title. Dan Martin, um, Jakob Fuglesang, Warren Barguil, Valt Poles, Sergio Enau, Enau, the defending champion. Uh, Poles and Enal from the Sky Team, uh, Julian Alaphilippe, Ilner Zacharin, Esteban Chavez, TJ Van Garderen, John Izaguirre, Balka Molima, Tim Wellens, who's riding great this year so far, Simon Yates, Yates, obviously Enal, Dan Martin, Barguil, Alaphilippe, John Izaguirre, all finishing in the top 10 last year. Um, and one thing. <laughs> you'll note about almost all of these GC guys not lighting the world on fire in the individual time trial. That gives TJ Van Garderen a huge opportunity to get on the podium, if not win, Perry Nice in 2018. Let's see if he grabs it. John Izaguirre, uh, he's been on Bahrain now for a couple of years. He'll be joined by his brother Gorka. Gorka fourth last year. I believe John Izaguirre was sixth or seventh last year. And they're both on Bahrain this year. Um, I think because of the time trial um, being flat rather than a hill climb like last year uh, in Pyrenees, that John Izaguirre has a great chance to uh, to move up there and outside chance for the podium. Balka Molima, Tim Wellen, Simon Yates, Ilner Zacharin, Sergio now, I mean, a lot of riders struggle with the time trial. Warren Barguil, um, and so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this, I'm gonna do my podium, and then you guys can write in and agree or disagree. I'm gonna say, Valt Poles, T.J. Van Garderen, and Sergio now as a podium in Paris Nice in 2018. T.J. It's got a great chance to do something huge, especially the way the time trial is placed. He should not be coming into stage four with any sort of deficit against his rivals. And when TJ is on good form, he can light it up in the time trial. So uh, we'll see what TJ can do. Valt Poles uh, just lost a pretty tough race to Tim Wellens. Um, I think Valt Poles will be fired up. A lot of his... Um, season last year, ruined by a uh, knee injury, so extra incentive for Valt Poles. And Team Sky has a, just an absolute lock on Perry Nice for some reason, and I believe they've won five of the last six editions. So Valt Poles, and he doesn't get a lot of chances in the Grand Tours to race for himself with Garen Thomas and obviously Chris Froome, uh, amongst many others on Team Sky. So watch for Poles to uh, seize the opportunity. Watch for TJ to be up there on the podium. And Sergio now is the defending champ. I'm sure he's going to race well. Uh, and it's going to be a great week of racing. Um, 
now that I've given you all the information, I hope you still tune in. <laughs> and believe me, it's going to be a thrilling stage race. I can't wait to call it, like I said. And I hope everybody tunes in. And thanks for watching Bob Key TV. Until next time.